Hey, hey, Annie Gishir here, racial equity coach for online business owners who are ready to build businesses that are racially equitable so you can be intentionally inclusive. Today's lesson is the key to breaking performative behavior. Now, I often deliver masterclasses for group programs. And when we get to the Q&A session, the question I get asked almost all of the time is, Annie, how can I not be performative? What are the things that I need to do in order not to come across as being performative when it comes to being an ally? And I think the fact that this question is being asked, I often look at it from the perspective of this is somebody who people who obviously want to learn and do better. But I think the the idea behind the asking of the question is wrong. The idea that perhaps um, you need a checklist or you need to be told the steps uh, in order to take so that you are not being performative is really putting the cart before the horse. There's so much work that you need to do before you get to that point of looking at it from can you give me a checklist so that I have that security blanket of not making a mistake? So the approach to this work is wrong. It's coming from the uh, perspective of tell me what to do so that I don't get in trouble. The approach you should be coming into this in terms of not being performative and actually being that genuine ally is through building genuine relationships. When you invest in building genuine relationships with people of color, what happens is you get to know them. You get to know them and you get to know the things that uh, affect them, the things that bring them pain, the things that cause uh, exclusion, uh, how oppression takes place, uh, the system of white supremacy. You get to understand that and having potentially that front row seat based on the genuine relationships that you have. And even flipping this idea of learning how to be a genuine ally and doing better in your racial equity journey is looking at it from a business perspective. When you start your online business, you don't approach it from what do I need to do in my business so that I don't get in trouble? Like, what are the things I need to do in order to tick the box and make sure that I am doing things correctly, that I am treating my customers the right way? No, that is, whilst that is important to know, that is not how you approach the work of building a business. You approach it from getting to know your dream clients. You approach it from understanding what their pain is and you having the solution for that and being able to articulate that to them so that they can see you as a person who has that solution that they are willing to invest their time and their money in in order to break that cycle of that pain. And the same applies here. It is going at it through understanding what are the pain points that people of color experience? How are they being excluded? As a business owner, what role might I have played as part of the system of exclusion that I need to unlearn, that I need to rework and understand what it, true inclusion looks like? And whilst you might read books on racial equity, listen to podcasts and have quite a number of resources available to you. Nothing, my friend, beats being in community. Seeing others who are doing this work and being encouraged, motivated to keep going and to keep doing it. Seeing other businesses who are actually doing the work of being racially equitable so that that is being modeled to you. And it's not just this sort of um, pie in the sky or this grand idea you'd like to have, but it seems so unreachable. It becomes something that is doable when those um, when it's modeled to you from other online business owners who are being racially inclusive. And one of the ways you can do that is being part of a community where you're getting educated. 
something that a book will not give you, something that a podcast may not give you, is the ability to ask questions. As you're learning and something comes up and you're like, oh, this has hit in a different way for me, or this has hit me in this way. What does this mean? Or I'm trying to grasp to understand more about, um, you know, performative behavior, but you do not have somebody to ask. That's why being in a community where you are led and educated and you're able to ask questions is one of the best ways to make progress. And that's why I created my program, Represented. Represented is one of those programs that really is uh, fostered under trust. It's a place where you're allowed to bring your vulnerabilities because I too uh, bring my vulnerabilities and trust becomes a foundation upon which um, our time together is built. A place where you can come and ask those uncomfortable questions that you might not uh, be able to ask in other spaces or may not even have uh, the option of asking those questions because you do not belong to a community or a space or a network where you can do that. And then you are then able to grow from there. That's what represented does. And one of the things as uh, somebody who is a coach and an educator in this space of racial equity, specifically to online business owners, is being fiercely protective about my students and the space that I hold, you know, it's not a space that's for everybody. It's a space that is very specific to those empathic people who are coming in, wanting to do this work, have fear, but they want to be able to overcome that fear, have the tools to um, strengthen them and have the courage to do this work, which they understand is lifelong. And so for a limited amount of time, uh, represented is, uh, has an end of financial year special, $200 off the price of represented. Now, all the details are below this video with a link to find out more about what represented is and joining us for the next round that is happening in September. And so this limited offer is only available until the end of June. June 30 for this end of financial year special. Find out more via the link um, below this video. And I hope you can join us so that we can do this work together and you can drill deeper into finding out more keys to you know, breaking performative behavior so that you can really be that genuine ally who is invested in racial equity work and attracting people from diverse backgrounds.